Amy Medford with Medford Knife and Tool. Knives on the table today are for E Knives in Chattanooga, Tennessee. 423-525-9477. Coco and Clayton are the husband and wife team. We love you guys. Let's see what's headed your way today. All right, we have a Scout MP D2 PVD Tonto, black G10 handles. The Scout MP sports, sports the breaker. The model, we still do carry just the Scout without the MP description on it, and that is the model without the breaker. So this is the black version. It also comes in OD green on the website, and you'll see some other varieties sometimes headed out to resellers. Next one on the table, uh, 187 drop point, all titanium, D2 PVD blade. That's our faced and flamed tsunami handle. Just awesome. I love it. Just covers the whole handle. I love it. PVD hardware and clip and a blue anodized spring. We have a Nosferatu flipper. Mm -hmm. This is one of the easiest flipping knives that we have. Uh, and I do not like flippers because I usually am flipper challenged. I'm flipping challenged, people. There's the four on the blade for S45VN. I know our boys just love working in S45VN. It's basically S35VN on steroids. So tumble blade, tumbled handles, flamed hardware, and a flamed clip. That's the Nosferatu flipper, not to be mistaken with the auto. It's the sheep foot blade, and it has the button deploy and the flipper tab that even non-flippers can flip. Ha! Here's the auto. Got that dagger style blade, false edge, S45VN, faced, let's see, so it's violet faced handles with PVD blade and hardware and clip. So PVD and violet. I find them very appropriate colors for a Nosferatu knife. This one a little more military classic, tumbled blade with blue handles and bronze hardware. I call that my cadet knife. Just reminds me of cadets in training. Very nice, Nosferatu Auto. And then the third Nosferatu Auto is also violet handles, but it is tumbled, and it is the old school tumbled at that. Flamed hardware and clip. So this is violet and this is blue. They are very close, but the violet is a little bit more subtle. The blue is more brilliant. And then these are both old school tumble. Next to that, we have the Marauder H S35 PVD drop point blade, PVD handles. We call this our ghosted American flag. You know, maybe not on this one. It's got some violet and bronze colors. The ghosting would just be outlines, but I love it against the black, kind of more of a mysterious, dark masculine look. Brushed and flamed clip with the PVD base and bronze hardware, Marauder H. USMC Fighter Flipper Magna Cut. Tumble blade, tumbled handles, old school, again. Flamed hardware, brushed and flamed pommel. It's got a little bit of that shine to it. And a brush and flamed clip. I am a huge fan of texture. So if we're gonna have old school tumble, I love that we have a brushed and flamed uh, pommel and clip. I think it has a really nice contrast. Last knife on the table is our TFF1. This is the thick, I'm sorry, Fat Daddy. It's the thicker version of the TFF1. I was jumping the gun on that. S35 PVD blade. I mean, the blade on this is as big as it gets, unless it's the Titan, in which case that's a half inch thick blade. So 0.260 inch thick. We've got bronze gator belly. Say so it's bronze and violet. So bronze around the perimeters and on the flutes and down in between it's got violet. So two tone anodized gator belly with PVD blade and accompanying hardware and clip. Nice, so those are all headed again to Coco and Clayton at E-Knives in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Reach out to them. See what you get your hands on. Till the next time, peace.